John, thank you folks so much for showing us the quiet and safety areas. Well, Jen, this leads us into the barbecue fireplace area. Wonderful area. It is a great getaway for the family. Um, the beautiful thing about this space is that it's all sheltered. Um, it definitely has open air um, out to the lakeside, and then the entryway into this space is beautifully laid out um, to get you from one space to the other with a series of stamped concrete um, staircases and stamped concrete patio spaces. This is a wonderful, wonderful area. I can see them out here making memories. Three seasons out of the year, really a wonderful space yeah. um, where they can uh, entertain a little um, closer. You know, if they're just having a few people over, this could be their really the hub of their entertaining space. Yeah, too. I can definitely see this being kind of the evening getaway. Absolutely. Where dinner may be shared under this spot here, actually um, grilled and prepared here. Yeah. And then um, a late evening snack with s'mores by the fireplace. Perfect, so, absolutely. Yeah, something that is, um, very cozy really um, uh, to incorporate into a lakeside property is uh, fire spaces. Yes I can see with the fireplace the grill so convenient this could be a wonderful space. Oh let's continue on and take a look at some of the more sunnier open areas on the property. Great and more of the public areas. Yeah. This is a wonderful public area here tell us all about it. Okay well part of the layout here is to allow um, the owner to come out right outside of their doors and enjoy the sun without having to go all the way down to the water to be out in a full sun space. So we have a good portion of this upper patio space um, directly dedicated to kind of a sun space. Um, of course it's right on the water so as you mentioned it's more of a public space it's not so much of a private getaway. Um, however another neat feature about this um, lakeside open space is that there's a covered area there is a shelter area just behind us. That sheltered area will is probably one of the best investments on a lakeside property because it allows a, a person to be outside through just about any element, sure. minus the cold, and of course you can bundle for that. But um, a space like that will get used often again in the evenings. As the sun sets, you could be enjoying meals underneath that sheltered space if, if, um, if you need a bigger area. The barbecue space was a very kind of a uh, nice nook, cozy area, but Absolutely. not really for big family gatherings okay. like this could be. Okay, yeah, and you have different zones here. You could have more of a food zone over here after it's been barbecued and really transition from one area to the other and it's nice and open, just like a family room would be to a living room, yeah. to a kitchen. So Absolutely. What's neat about all these outdoor spaces is they're a lot like the interior of your home where you have room to room to room and they all have their own features and they all have their own usage. But when you're entertaining a lot of people, here they all have different spaces they can go to and still enjoy the property in all their own way. So they've really extended that living environment. Tell us what we can do on a smaller scale to extend our living environment. Maybe we don't have a lake view, maybe we have um, just a neighbor, but we have a fence, something like that. What can we do to soften that fence, but to make it more of a social area mm -hmm. so we can really enjoy our, our guests when they come over? Sure, definitely. Softening of fences is often done through plant material. Um, you can start to grow a couple of different um, layers of plant material as well. Um, it won't necessarily create a um, living space by adding that plant material to soften the fence, but you can start to utilize it as a wall to a room on your property. Um, so, so by using um, plant choices like, um, like grasses or um, a climbing um, hydrangea, um, these sort of things will um, get up into the higher portions of the fence and then also provide you with interest throughout the year. So you're creating a softer space. More inviting, yeah. absolutely. John, this did not look like your first landscaping project. No, Jen, it, it wasn't. Um, this is actually a combination of a lot of experience and exposure to landscaping throughout the years. We can continue to put together the right kind of plants and the right kind of uh, hardscape materials to create, create beautiful landscapes like this. John, thank you for joining me. You're welcome. I'm Jennifer Rumsey and thank you for joining me on this episode of Your Home, Your Haven.